All right, I'm going to uh, factor here 3e. And again, I see these binomials in here, and I don't want to necessarily work with those. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to let x equal this m squared plus 2m. And so what th that allows me to do here is to replace that in this expression, and then I'll get x squared minus 5x minus 20. Whoops. Sorry, it's about to break 25. Minus 24. So at, at least now I'm looking at just the, the quadratic form of this, this question here. So I'm looking for two numbers whose product, or two expressions, I should say, whose product is negative 24x squared and whose sum is going to be negative 5x. Okay? And again, uh, it doesn't take me long to kind of guess because 24 is, is one of those kind of common numbers that you work with. So I know that this is going to end up being negative 8 and positive 3x. So now once again, those aren't the terms that go necessarily inside those polynomials there. These are the outer and the inner products. Now, the first two terms here in either binomial, their product has to be x squared, okay, to get that term right there. So it's got to both be x. And then to get the, the outside products here have to be negative 8x. Well, there's the x, so back here has got to be negative 8. The inside two products here have to be 3x. Well, there's the x, so this has got to be the positive 3. Then I erase I erase that stuff that I used to help me because now what I got to do is put that uh, substitute back in uh, the x squared. Now the x squared was m squared plus 2m plus 3. So now m squared plus 2m minus 8. Now this is an awkward one because at this point right now each of these factors is a binomial, is a, sorry, is a quadratic. And each of those could then be factored one step further, except that at this point here, this should be substantially easier to look at. And at this point here, what I want to do is with you guys, I'm going to model uh, some guessing and checking here. And now I've got m squared plus 2m plus 3. I know that the first two term, uh, terms in each of these binomials, they have to be m. And now to get a product of 3 and a sum of 2, okay, uh, I would think about that for a little bit. Um, think about product of, uh, the factors of 3 would be 3 and 1. So it could be 3 and negative 1, negative 3 and positive 1. Well, look at that. I don't get a 2m out of that. I'm going to come back to that in a second here because that's, that's a little weird. Come over here. These two have to multiply together to get m. The first two terms here also have to be m. And then the factor's got to be the product is negative 8, the sum is, is positive 2. Okay, well that is going to be positive 4 and minus 2. That's pretty clear to me. So then it's this thing right here. Well, I don't see what the factors of positive 3 are that will ever add to get positive 2. Now, what I could do, well, I, th there will be a, a tool later on in this course that we could use to help us out with that. But for right now, what that means is that couldn't be factored. And I would leave it like that. So there, and there's nothing wrong with having a, a binomial, sorry, a, qu uh, a quadratic factor as one of the factors that I work it down to. So that's fine.